in the outlook every year we focus on a single fuel and make an in-depth analysis of that fuel every year. Last year it was coal, the year before it is uh, renewables, the year before it is uh, gas and so on. And this year as a fuel we chose energy efficiency. We were a big team in the IEA work uh, together on energy efficiency, together with international experts, industry, governments. We organized a closed door workshop with several top experts worldwide. What shall we do? What kind of messages we should give the rest of the world? So what did we do in our study? We did the following. We looked every country in the world country by country, sector by sector, how much of the economically viable energy efficiency potentials are being used. I mentioned to you in the beginning of my presentation that the US, China, Japan, Europe putting new policies in place. Even if those policies are put in place, we observe that only only one third of the economically viable potential is used and two thirds of the economically viable potential is left untapped. And this is for me an economic sin, ladies and gentlemen. When I look at the international energy policy making, which I tried to do for some years, I think this is energy efficiency is an epic failure of the international energy policy making. Of course, there are some exceptions, like Japan, like uh, Singapore, like Denmark, Germany, some countries. But globally, we are in a very poor condition. What does this mean? It means the following. <clears throat> I can give you one another uh, small uh, a story. I was two weeks ago in Norway in a similar meeting with the CEO of a major international oil company. I told him when I was showing this picture in front of the people, what would you do if you have an oil field which is producing oil and bring a lot of cash to the company every day? Oil is flowing. But suddenly you, your people decide to close the oil field after only one third of oil is produced and two thirds is left under the ground. What would you do? And he said, I would fire the reservoir engineer. And I don't know whom should we fire when we look at this picture. There is definitely a big failure here that we are making globally. The only good news in this picture, if I look at it, the only optimistic thing, if I have to find something optimistic, is the following. When I look at the different sectors, it is the industry sector which uses the most of its potential. Why it gives me hope? Because with all respect to colleagues from the industry here, and I know the overwhelming uh, majority of the uh, hundreds of colleagues here are from the industry, Industry has one main objective, to make profits, and which, is, which is very legitimate. And if industry with the objective of making profit uses the highest potential of energy efficiency, it means there is a business case in energy efficiency improvement. It is a, it is a, a documentation, it's a proof of the energy efficiency is a business case and makes money. 